Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday morning, and I have to tell you, I woke up extraordinarily early to watch the royal wedding. It's happening right now. The guests are arriving. Amal and George Clooney are already there. I'm very excited. So this is my plan for the very early morning. It's like 6, might be 6.10. And I've got my coffee on and I'm really ready to go. I'm so excited. Okay, so does anyone else like tear up even at the thought of the wedding like I I have been tearing up as I saw like a little clip of like Megan in the in the car and then Prince Harry arriving and I am already a mess I love weddings I love weddings especially when the bride isn't like insanely stressed it's hard though I was a bride and it's, it's hard not to be stressed. My hair dryer broke on my actual wedding day. And so that was, that was a little kink and my hair took way too long. But anyway, I do. I love the vows. I'm so excited that we get to see the vows because I don't care about the rest of it. I don't know about anyone else, but I barely remember my actual, um, the reception. It's kind of a blur, but the vows and the ceremony are like, lodged in my mind forever so oh I'm so excited she's on the way Okay, so it's a while later. It's the afternoon now on Saturday, and I have to say that wedding was so beautiful. I loved all of the African-American um, singers, and the reverend was wonderful, I thought. I was just, I just think it's so good for England and good for the world, you know? I really do. So that was lovely, and they're actually a really cute couple, so that made me happy. Uh, so this morning I watched that and then I got ready and I went out to Ikea and I bought some things and I'm going to show you what I bought. But first I want to tell you about the book that I finished reading while I was driving to Ikea. I finished reading Bonfire by Kristen Ritter <clears throat> and ugh, I wish that I had liked this more than I did. I feel kind of badly that I, I didn't really like it very much. I am, I haven't even given it anything on Goodreads yet, and I, I'm, I'm going to um, do my little do my little star rating soon. But I think this is going to be a two star read for me. It wasn't horrible, um, but I just I I thought I've read books like this before. And, um, so, you know, essentially a girl goes home to her hometown to solve a crime. I just didn't think it was very well executed. She's meant to be a lawyer going home to solve some sort of environmental um, problem, essentially, that this one company called Optimal is taking over. It's taken over this very small town. It basically owns the small town and they're dabbling in some controversial stuff. They're not they're not really keeping the health and safety of their community um, in mind. And so she goes to kind of solve what's going on with people who live there. I have to say, like, I didn't really like her as a character. I didn't think that she was a very good lawyer. Like, I certainly wouldn't want her as my lawyer. That's for sure. She, like, got drunk all the time and one of the storylines in it is about her um, and her high school experience, which wasn't good, and how she was bullied. And she goes back home, and this is like straight away in the book, she goes back home and runs into some people who bullied her um, in high school, and she ends up hanging out with them. And I just think 
that is not at all what anyone would do, right? Like, I have definitely been bullied in the past, and um, I'm going to tell you that those are the people that I would not hang out with, especially as a lawyer. Like, she's supposed to be smart and logical, and I, I just... I didn't buy it. I just, I thought it was all over the place. I saw all the twists coming. I knew all the twists. So, um, I would consider reading her again though. Um, I think she has a good writing style. It's a little bit gritty, which I enjoy. Um, all of the characters are flawed. I, I don't mind that, <clears throat> but I, uh, yeah, I'd, I would read something else by her. This was her first book and I would consider reading something else by her, but this one did not blow me away, so I will be passing that along. Okay, so I need to show you what I bought at Ikea. Okay, so I went to Ikea and I bought a lot of plants. I don't even know what type of plant this is, but I just thought it was so beautiful. And it's got this like interesting like white fuzziness to it. Interesting. Um, and I actually bought this um, basket at home since a couple weekends ago and I I love it so much I think it looks so good on the coffee table now it kind of completes the coffee table okay so here is another thing another plant I got from Ikea so pretty I think this one is called mother-in-law's tongue if I'm not mistaken and then I got another one over here they're all mother-in-law's tongue from here on out. I don't know if he'll stay there forever, but for now he will. And then last but not least is this cute little guy, another mother-in-law's tongue, but I thought that was cute. I've also got to change up the, the photos here, but I will do that eventually. And then, okay, so I mostly bought plants, but I also, went a little crazy and got tons of new napkins. Ikea is such a good place to get napkins. So we were running really, really low. There's like no more of these purple ones left. So I got this one, which I thought was really pretty. And then greens and blues and another green. Very happy with that. So now I'm going to hunker down and read some Unbury Carol not loving this it's very much a western there's nothing really horror about it it's meant to be like a sleeping beauty retelling but since it's josh mallerman i really thought that it would be horror-esque and i'm not finding it scary one bit i am buddy reading this with vicky from chapter 32 and i think we're both feeling the same way so far i'm going to keep plugging away but I really just want to stop everything and read The Exorcist, if I'm being perfectly honest, or a thriller or something. I don't know. So we shall see. Let me try a little bit more. I can do a little bit more. Okay, so I have to be brutally honest. I, end up, I ended up like kind of skimming it. There were chapters that I just didn't care about. Um, chapters of other people trying to help Carol who essentially goes in such a deep sleep that it looks like she's dead um, and so her husband is trying to trying to kill her he's trying to bury her alive because she has all sorts of money but there are other people who know that this happens to her every once in a while and they're trying to save her. Anyway, I didn't care about those chapters at all. All I cared about was Carol and that was it. I'm going to give this two stars. This was not for me. I finished it and you know what it's like? It's like reading, um, it's like reading a Quentin Tarantino movie in book form and that's fine if I knew going in that that's what it was going to be but this is not horror by any stretch of the imagination like not at all and I love Josh Mellerman and I think he had a lot of fun writing this and I'm kind of happy for him but not happy for me because it was not my cup of tea um definitely someone's cup of tea if you like westerns if you love Quentin Tarantino um I think that you would really like it but I didn't 
And now I'm trying to figure out what I want to do next. Do I want to read The Exorcist? Or do I want to read Faux? I don't know. I'm going to go upstairs and kind of look around. Okay, so I have decided to pick up Faux. It's short. It's Ian Reed, and I think it's going to be very, very good. I just need a win. You know when you read a bunch of books that you really, really had enormously high hopes for and then they let you down? I have enormously high hopes for this one, but I have a feeling it's not going to let me down. So I'm going to get started on faux and I will check in with you soon. Hello everyone, it is Sunday and I am getting ready to film. I've got my notes, I'm doing a tag video today. I'm doing a book rec recommendations from um, a favorite author today and I'm also doing a giant book haul. So that is the plan. So I filmed a bunch of videos, I filmed three in the end, which is good. Um, and now I'm sitting outside reading. So I am, how many pages in? 70, I'm 70 pages in, I'm loving this. What I love about Ian Reed is that you have no idea what in the world is going on at any given moment. It's so confusing. We have met Hen and we have met Junior. Junior has been selected to join this company where he will travel far far away and they live on a little farm and it's just them and so um he he's in the process of being selected i should say so um he there's like semi-finals and that kind of thing and and this man comes to visit them and tells them about this and it's their reaction to it and the reaction to this man and it's really disturbing. It's disturbing. I have no idea what in the world is going on, uh, but I'm loving it. Sorry if you can hear cars in the background. I'm sitting outside, um, which I am kind of regretting because it's absolutely freezing, but it's this beautiful sunny day and I just want to be outside. I don't know if I can stay out for very long, but loving faux, loving it. Good morning, guys. So I'm sorry about yesterday. I totally forgot to continue filming, um, but my parents ended up coming over and then we went to this little pub near our place called the Cheshire Cat. And that was really, really nice. We had fish and chips and sat outside and had beer and it was lovely. So I didn't really read any more yesterday. Um, today I'm gonna continue forging ahead with faux. I also would really like to sit down and finish um, the third book in the Every Heart of Doorway series, which I can't remember what it's called, Beneath the Sugar Sky. I'm going to finish that because it's like kind of driving me nuts that I haven't finished it and I only have 70 pages left. So I'm going to do that. Um, I'm editing videos today and Libby and I are just hanging out outside. It's so beautiful today. It's like stunningly gorgeous. So we're going to probably spend the whole day outside. Hello again. It's a little later in the afternoon and I just finished reading Beneath the Sugar Sky. This is the third in the Every Harder Doorway series and... I didn't like this one as much as I liked the others. I have to say this is my least favorite of the series. I think I'm going to give it three stars because I don't think it was horrible or badly written or anything. It was just not not for me. I didn't enjoy the storyline. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of glad to be done because you know when you haven't finished a book and it's like weighing on you and it's in the back of your mind? Um, and you're not eager to pick it up, but you know you want to finish it. That's kind of how I feel about this one. So it's done. I'm going to move back onto faux. And I think now I'm back to just reading three books at a time, which feels really good because I like to have a fiction um, on the go in like physical form. And then I like to have a fiction in audiobook. And then I read nonfiction in the morning usually. So 
I'm back to that, which feels wonderful. Um, I will check back in about faux in a little bit. Hello guys. So I think I'm going to end my vlog here. I'm still working my way through faux. I'm like 120 pages into it and really, really enjoying it. Um, so I've had like a few misses and a hit so far. So that's good. I hope that you've had a lovely weekend. And if you were in Canada, I hope you've had a lovely long weekend like me. And I will see you guys later. Bye.